it is chapter 5 self weight case um, in this case we are going to make an ID and without any extra load as own weight with the uh, own load we're gonna apply it so we're gonna apply we can apply the two way we can uh, clamp it on uh, one side and make it as a simple case or we can make it as a two side as clamped but uh, to give the freedom of uh, deforming engine for its, its, its own own weight and we're gonna use it a little bit different clamp method so instead of a whole face we're gonna use edge uh, for the clamping all right so Sketch is done. If you pay, uh, you look at the page number five, page three. There's a I beam sections. Once it's done, simple extrude. I'm making maybe twelve inches. Then I'm also apply the material to the part body. Let's use aluminium. And whenever you apply the material, make sure you find the right number to apply with. So, but in this case, I'm gonna use it just everything as a default setup. All right, material is ready, so I'm going to GSA, static analysis, and if you expand. We have several steps to go through. First one is obviously the mesh and the knot it has to be properly mated. As the thinnest point is about quarter inches, I'm gonna throw in, in about only one inches at this point so that I can have a good number of a mesh going on in this point first. So I'm gonna have click and uh, point one and point zero one as a second amount there's nothing going on nothing curvature going on so I'm gonna leave it as linear so that's the reduced amount of uh, calculation as you can see it's got a very tiny meshes I have a lot of them maybe I put way too much but it's all right So once we confirm, make sure to deactivate the meshes so that you can actually apply the, the load and uh, restrain. And then uh, in this time, I'm going to do self-weight. So we are going to put uh, on the edges. Using the edges, we're going to apply the clamp so they give the freedom of rotation by the, its own weight. To do that, clamp on the edge. Okay, I will separate it. Second clamp, the other side. Now, as you can expect it, using these two corner as a hinges, as we apply to any load, it will be able to be deformed. But instead of uh, any other external uh, load, we are going to use its own weight as a load as you can expect it as if this piece longer and longer will have more deformation amount at the center so to self weight case which is acceleration from the earth which is gravity so that can be found right here acceleration acceleration over the whole piece and we can apply the proper the gravity of the earth so it's going to be minus 9.8 meter per square second. Okay, and you can see acceleration being applied, which is gravity in this kind of thing. All right, we're almost done. Then we can compute. After a few seconds, 
we'll be able to see the formations. Again, it's with a uh, magnitude. It's a magnitude of 6,600. No, it's 66,000. It's very big uh, magnitude. It's amplified it, but just help you to see the deformation directions. You see, there's again the exaggeration of 66,000. You can see the stress distributions, very little amount. Again, this is also in the area, I don't think we have to focus on there. That's why if you look at and go through the chapter 5, it shows more uh, locally how to observe those area you're interested in. And ignoring some area, you're going to have to look at and there's deformations as well. Practice we did was that you are able to turn on uh, only you are interested in. This is one <clears throat> usually I kind of like it too because it shows that stress distribution plus deformation at the same time. But what we learn is uh, also uh, layout so that you can see both at the same time as well too. But okay, uh, well, one way you can try is no layout each other so it actually shows that amount of deformation as a, at the same time the stress distribution once it's done you can click then move so that you can see both click then move so you said there are only 20 psi so almost nothing nothing is here and almost nothing but millions of deformation is happening obviously if it's a long long piece it's gonna be a different story right because it's getting the more weight there's only very little support and means the middle will have a more deformation build causing the stress at the top all right, that concludes chapter five. Just remember, the, for self-weighted case, you have to apply the acceleration as a load, and the gravity is the load. All right.